Hello, old souls, fellow empath seekers and psychonauts alike. Welcome. My name is Steph. We are going to scry some scrolls today for shapes and symbols that may speak to our senses. We'll add on Terran Oracle and where Mr. Ghost Gif is here kicking. We have Ghost Tube Seer for any visual inspirations that may arise and further inspire or irritate. Overall, please do receive a release freely. So when you're ready, old souls, let's take a look. You can start scrying for yourself, of course. Feel well to comment below what you see, sense, or feel, or keep to oneself. I feel you, I get you, but I do appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscribes as it does help the channel grow. I'm going to take a moment to open up. Timestamps are there if you want to fast forward through. Closing the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and honor and aura of old souls. Thank you so much for being my muse and may you meet a message with meaning. Looks like we have an apple coming on up here. Oh, is it, you know what it reminds me of? It's like uh, seeing the teacher, you, and at least Liam, back in the day, uh, you would put an apple like a gift you could be working old souls with a teacher, uh, an ascended master maybe, or something along that lines. So, oh, we have another image coming up right off the hop too. Something about your brain and maybe even at really activating that pineal gland. It brings me into the connectivity in this straddling of worlds between be becoming, you no, know, being the teacher and student and becoming the teacher and student. Does that make sense? By being both, being a bridge between the worlds of such being physical human and a higher self and really realizing the way at least it's coming through excuse me <clears throat> is the bridge between that is uh it's i'm seeing it like traffic like almost like a highway there's, so there's traffic going both ways the uploads and the downloads if i may but there's an expansion there's a sense of expansion bridge coming through Okay, so this is where I'm coming into expansion. There's something about November. Maybe this is happening from now to November. This could be individual or interconnected. Something that you're working on within the self to something preparing for an energy expansion of the November time. Maybe even just the fall season where you might harvest a certain element of teacher student tree. Okay, I'm going to dig in a little further here. I feel like I kind of just like wandered off really, really quickly. We'll take a look at your paranormal poker hand as well later on. If you want to stick around for that or use the timestamps. I'm seeing this as a book on top of a head. This character, this character here becomes this character here, becomes that character here. That's how I'm seeing that. I'm going to follow that rabbit hole if I may. So it's like having a book on top of your head with that poise, right? If you think about like being very, having, I don't know, the book on your head and walking with balance, learning how to breathe in that space, not, uh, not holding breath, don't hold breath. A line in the spine, because I'm seeing the book of the spine very specifically. Uh, holding yourself in a posturing that feels it's like having the structure of the trunk of the tree, if I may, or the spine of the book, appreciate its strength, its structure, because it allows this uh, communication between the two to happen. And that energy actually expands beyond the, the structure. Does that make sense? So if you see, maybe you would see it as a tree and the branches and the leaves expand out from that, but there's something about working on that spine uh, lifting up. I hear like some people might have a slight fear or hesitancy due to being perceived as arrogant or egotistical. I'm hearing that's a reflection of what somebody else would do with that air possi possibly or a fear that in that state of confidence of your connection of the connection. Yes. Uh, it's kind of like bringing me into like the human part of it. Like, uh, would they, you know, gracefully hold their power, uh, maybe misuse or abuse type thing, but I'm going to stay in the old souls for a moment here because there's a, a wisdom at work. 
This wisdom at work is asking me to open that book and grow within it because I'm seeing it like an accordion book. And on top of the, the book, I don't know if they're rats or mice. It's not my concern. Any so any any certain rodents of maybe reality or what you perceive as a rodent. Uh, they're on sticky tape. So it's not like the snap, the snap kind of traps. This is sticky tape. It feels very humane. You might be interrupting a lot of thoughts. You might also be interrupting information that comes towards you. And this isn't doesn't feel like it's in a in a bad way or again arrogant or egotistical. This feels healthy. This feels like okay, this is what's coming towards me on the radio by a person. Whatever, even your own internal thoughts. You're like, okay, and it reaches that point before you open the book to invest in it. You take a moment and you interrupt it. Let me take a moment here. Maybe you flip to the end of the book. Maybe you look at a leaf uh, in that you know, kind of symbolic state. You take a look at the leaf. Is this poison? Is this medicine? Whatever the case may be for you. It's definitely personalized. But I'm opening up. There's something about home base or because I'm seeing it like a baseball. Is it home base? Home base? I think so. Sorry, we also have another conversation on a bench. That conversation's right here. This conversation is in the in the ghost tube. This is about the connectivity maybe with other old souls, and that's just a big old umbrella term, as there's lots of different sensitivities within that, within within the scope of such a word, but we are humans, so we're doing the best we can to express. And it's like once I kind of uh, it might be something that you do at home or your home base. You might also feel that you're from two homes. Like you have, uh, if you're from a you know child of, of divorce or separation and or your, you know, your sky home or your star home, uh, heaven to earth, whatever the case may be. This character, as it steps out of this book and grows, comes into this one. Is that a grocery store up there? I need to see it a little bit bigger. Oh, look at this. So it's like we're, oh yeah, sorry. We are still here. Thank you. It's like this little grocery store or a little apothecary. And it kind of brings me into when I was speaking about the, the trees on the leaves and this, that, or the other. Even words in a book, are they medicine? Are they magical? Are they mundane? What do they enhance and expand within you? Or what do they restrict? Now, here's another interesting little portal that I'm going to go down if you don't mind. The structure of the spine, the strength of the spine, the structure of the trunk, the density of the trunk, uh, like maybe like the human experience allows information to flow so we can grow, open the book from that spine without that spine, the, the freedom of the pages to flap in the wind for the communications to come up and be absorbed. They still go through more filtration systems where they can still be released or received and resonate. But there's something about that spine and the trunk. Of, oh, it's almost like not being hard on the human existence for being dense. You know what I mean? Just dense in, in uh, vibration, vibrational kind of states. It really is a highway to get you somewhere fast working in that trunk. Okay, so I'm going to keep going here. So as it's like I grow from here, it's like, oh, I'm this tall, this tall, this tall, interrupting certain thoughts, capturing them very humanely. And then I kind of come out dancing and I feel like I'm in like, I check out now the sides, right? What's what's going on east to west, north and south, east to west. What kind of directions am I feeling? I'm seeing a fucking bronco or horse I, is that a thing maybe it's like like a cowboys I don't know I kind of see them like I don't know cowboys 
or bucking bulls. And bulls bring me back into that earthly experience, even with the the horses and whatever a horse may mean to you and whatever a bull may mean to you. But they seem to share this common strength on the earth element and they go about it different ways. So there's something about releasing comparison, competition in comparison in regards to any sort of connectivity but noticing where somebody or something's asking me to compete, to exist. It's a weird feeling. I don't need to compete to exist or in these certain uh, threads of information. Because when I say that, I hear it like as in formation. And what do I want to be in, in these formulas? Because old souls, you're expanding the energy from that, right? The trunk holding it, the veins of it, and then it expands out. So it's like this bridge between the worlds of, let's just say, the human and the higher self expression. It's like they are, the energy is expanding. It's the aura of the tree. It's the aura of the book. It's the aura of you is expanding. And I'm seeing it like an equator around the world, around the globe, around the planet. And while, and I see it with a tape measure and you know, like if you're like trying to lose weight or slim the waistline down. And it's funny cause it's like going back to the tree or back to the trunk by slimming in some of those, creating constraints. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, but I'm doing my best to work through it. <sighs> Appreciating the structure and constraints when it's built by you bit by bit allows this expansion to happen, this flourishing to happen because it wanders out from that because it's a different element. And then there's this other kind of in formation or in formulas that creates them and they, and it drives, it drives something where there's, less expansion and I feel like you notice that it's like building an expansion bridge see when I wander that way it doesn't make sense to me but it it just gets you I don't know I I can only feel it from from this space of the old souls of the expansion of the energy around it the the aura of it okay I'm gonna keep going so I kind of come out and I wander back and forth. I'm also very plugged in. I'm seeing that right at the third eye space, or sorry, the crown. And I'm seeing it as a plug. And it's almost like I'm growing my third grounding. You know how like the, the outlets, there's the two and then the third grounding one. It's about grounding information into the higher self information, the higher self highway down through this warrior pose of sorts. And grounding it into the human experience because otherwise then it just floats around. And uh, I'm going to say somebody else, but I, I'm not pinpointing a person or an energy or Gregor. If it's not grounded within you by decisions, information, whatever the case may be, whatever you resonate or release, then it can be harnessed for another highway that maybe somebody else is doing, but I'm hearing it's like very important to like, you know, almost like check out your own uh, fluidity. And then even like working in a spiral almost with the spine versus the standard while the poise of, you know, up and down and uh, stacking your hips, heart and head, let's say. But then it's also this, I'm right in my yoga world, like around the world. It's all in regards to this connectivity. Let's take a look at your paranormal poker hand here, guys, as well. So thank you. See if I can bring that up. All right. So your aura scroll is the sacral. If anything's... And look how strong. Strong arms. Strong, strong arms. I'm also seeing them as bears, but they're peaceful bears at the end. At the ends of the hands, like your hands are bears. Like, you know when you get like a bear hug and it feels good? This is when it feels like I, I receive information and I'm not going into the whole miss or diss. It's just information. You decide. You decide what is miss or diss or aligned, right? It's a, it's a creational energy. It's another 
energy exchange, something about grounding it in though. This connectivity card is asking me to, it's like through the heart space, through maybe your sacral create, creative sexual energies, whatever the case may be. It's asking me to bring in this coloring of like very matrix feel, right? Like the coloring. Whoa, I feel like most of us know, know that movie. It just has the coloring of it, like little fireflies of sparks of information, connectivity that the grid on the earth, because I just saw them all spark up. Maybe sometimes you see these in different people. Uh, maybe it's a consciousness of the earth as well, of the earth's energy, not just the landmass, the energy, the aura of. I'm seeing a cheers, cheers, like with the glasses or, or whatnot. I'm also seeing that you might have an elemental with you. And I say that in the spirit of, it could be a familiar, whatever feels well to you, uh, to reference that. I'm also seeing ET phone home in here. And I have a grip on something right at the throat, right at the throat. It's uh, quite stern. Oh, right at the throat. I express if there's anything that you feel that's holding back and I kind of want to zip into for a quick moment. If there is uh, anything from another world or that you feel like you might be. Maybe you can't speak it with certain people, places or things. It's like knowing your audience of sorts, testing, you know, testing them out, but not in a testing pass or fail way, but it's, it's navigating, navigating connections. Some of you also might have a connection to Egyptian times. So it's like I come out from here, realize I'm co-creating. The point is, is to bring it down, is to ground it in, ground it in to the human experience, to the earthly experience. And while you might be a bridge, maybe you're a bridge for other people too. They could feel that they can come towards you and talk about different concepts, about different ideas without being held in concrete. But when I say that, I feel like I'm coming into the global aspect of this as well. And it's almost like surrendering something about it specifically. Maybe it's not all realities or my responsibility. Transmuting pain, fools embrace. And you know the drill as well. If these cards mean any ooh, mean anything to you, please follow that first versus my yammerings. On the bottom we have deep quiet meditation and stillness. I'll put that there for you. I, okay, so see these moons or I, it's funny. I think they're actually moons, but I'm seeing them as earth globes and it keeps bringing me back to this, to the sacral aura scroll because I kind of want to do like with that cheers I was talking about. It's like the cheers there. You might have a lot of orbs around you. This, it's almost like you can see when I was talking about like the auras of people and the connectivity, like with everyone kind of shining or certain people, places or things shining. And that's how you like you see their aura behind them, even if they're working through pains and gains and they're transmuting it. You it's almost like this feeling of but you still have an understanding. It's not like trauma bonding. And while that might be happening to some degree or another in, in the scope of the world or the globe. Uh, in different parts, etc., it might be more of a focus that they are in formation of. You can hold space for both of them without re assuming responsibility for it. Some of you want, um, Sorry, just a side note here. Some of you might be waiting for a, a, like a call from somebody or a sign from somebody that has passed on. 
like I hear like I'm waiting for a sign tell me you're okay tell me you're okay I'm going to say this very co compassionately and confidently but not in the, you know the era of but just the way I'm feeling it this is your sign right now being said I am okay I am so okay It'll come when something clears up about that highway between the head and the hands and the heart. Okay, let's keep going. Page of Spears. Brings me into that warrior feeling again. The wandering between worlds like a warrior. But it's like, what is that? Is it a book, a show, a movie? I can't even remember the the way of the peaceful warrior. Six of cups is on the bottom. There's an exchanging of this expansion. Okay, so even in the expansion, when I was talking about the expansion bridge, you're also not doing it alone because there's other old souls. It's like somehow being if something was being built, right? There's a project manager and maybe you're your own project manager of this, of, you know, your, your assumed roles that you've accepted. But then you, you have these teams, you have the rebar team, you have the engineering team or the architect team. And then there's the concrete team. And then there's the designing team. And then there's the asphalt team. And I don't know, put in a bunch of building words or in any way, shape or form. That's what it's like. It's not being done or like releasing the pressure to have it all be done by you. You're doing your part in this whole expansion thing well. Uh, sorry, give me one second. Okay. The moon card, it looks like a well to me. You're doing it well. Because you've had to, you continue to, and you do look deep within yourself. Old souls, there's a, a feeling I'm getting. I'm, uh, I don't think it's the right word trudging there's I think it's I think it's like in a gold show trudging or something like that like they're pumping out water from from one pond to work the machine this brings me into the transmuting of pain some of you are also being offered or will be will be being offered an opportunity to move from the spear to a sword something heavier which again it brings me into like the density feeling not to get stuck on the dense earth experience it's it's asking there's an opportunity that will be there for you to deepen what you're downloading plugging in and grounding into this experience there's also something about solar power there's also something i want to come back to in regards to november between now and november i don't know what's going on but uh there is something that is, uh, I see these eyes here. You might feel like you're in a state of preparation to really be on the lookout for something. Information, what's information. You also might be seeing signals from other old souls in different situations or circumstances. They're like, oh, because it, it's making me feel like, oh, uh, how do I say? Uh, so I'm trying to think of an example to express what I just felt. It's like going to a florist at the end of their week and saying, hey, do you have any extra, you know, uh, flowers or, or dead flowers that didn't sell or wilted because I can use them for something else so it's not wasted so i feel like you might have an offer or you 
are just aware of them in your own observational state of sorts as you oscillate and and know when to step forward to and be like oh i noticed that you have this skill or talent um, or energy there's something about permissions and asking what one because you don't they don't know or you don't know if they also maybe they make potpourri with these leftover flowers and they're not actually gone to waste as one might assume right or grocery store if they're throwing out all their expired food maybe we could assume that happens but it feels like in haste that I might assume that it's more of like a curiosity that I'd like to cure and say hey you know not to assume but you know what do you do with your leftover uh, or expired food or your leftover flowers they might already have something in place so it it continues to flow but I feel like either somebody's going to ask you or you might be inquiring. It's very teacher student student ish, but in, in the air of like this interdimensional highway and this ex expand expanding of realms of reality. Is that, oh, I feel like it makes sense. I feel like it makes sense. It's more about asking a question versus already having an assumed uh, ignorance kind of attached to it. Does that make sense? Okay. Sorry. I'm going to keep going here. Let's take a look at your paranormal poker hand as well. And then I'll get ready to close out old souls. Something about the peace to come within peace to come within. Sorry. I got to go back to the person that might be, or for the message for the few. Uh, if somebody is uh, still like waiting for a signal, waiting for a signal, the doors are slowly opening because it's like that's the the highway, that's the communication. There's learning on both sides. There's learning on both sides. It's not to be assumed because I've passed over that I have this all-knowing and there's nothing to acclimate to or remember. The process of remembering, the process of more choices, different choices, still takes time and whatever concept you may have of that. But it, even if it's space, I'm going to say space. And both of our emotions going back and forth can create fog, different weather of that highway. But there's something simple about asking for help through uh, lighting your your heart. If you're working with the white light and or lighting a candle for others. And I'm hearing lighting a candle or something in the spirit of incense, you know, pick whatever. Just illuminating your own heart space to also let others know when you're, you're available. Like, I don't want to say you have extra energy, but you might have, you know, you're connected into the universal life flow and you're like I have the time space to do so okay okay so sorry before I move on to the paranormal poker hand I'm seeing ugh, so many sports things so I'm just so not qualified the 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 back thing of a baseball no it's basketball the basketball hoop the backboard the backboard There's that spear. It's also a matchstick. I don't, there's just something a little, like I'm almost like seeing evil queen eyes or, you know, king eyes. Something, I don't know, something in that, something in that space. And maybe you just have a keen eye and it kind of comes off that way where you're like, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Or there could just be something about November that you're uh, going to have your eyes down on, not eyes down, but you're kind of going to be like, mm, I got to allow the information to come so close, you know, to meet the, the outside of the book before I decide if I'm going to take this in as, as part of my reality, because it's almost like, because you're expanding, it's like adding more inserts into a book, like a scrapbook of sorts and somebody or something wants to be a part of it. And it's neither here nor there. It's just up to you to choose and decide. We have here channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Uh, in Aries, energies to meet the challenge of your desires regarding and resulting from the honesty and strength of. 
in your karma card. Your tree is the tree of heaven. Aspiration. Oh, that just felt so good. <laughs> just felt so good. Gifts of heaven will be granted to you. Dream, plan, and believe. And so we were talking about that with the channel, like using the, the book spine or the, the tree. Allowing your own structures to be, you know, open and closed accordingly. Oh, that felt really, really nice. Your recovery card is the spiritual life is not a theory. We have to live it. Does that come through? In all this humanness, may we not poo-poo it. You know what I mean? It's it's channeling the higher information of your knowing, trusting, alchemizing it within the heart space, in the shoulders, what we trap, what we let go of, all that kind of good stuff. And then grounding it in like that plug. I think it was on the other end. Grounding it in. Living it. It's not, it's almost like I want to say it's, and I'm sure old souls, you, for some of you might have this feeling. It's like, when did I say, if it just floats out there, it's like, eh, living it, eh, 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 what is that? I want to say like integrating, but that's not the right word. This is like just living it. It just is. They're not competing. The human experience in the higher self. It's like the, the higher self or the, all of the other, other magical realms. They're not above the human experience. And I come back to that globe. And this is where I feel like you're at. You understand it's about here. It's all here. You are living out your highest self's heartbeats and this bridge between the world for not only you but it's also others are doing it too and uh, i don't okay last but not least here oh my goodness like reassurance of the golden light spirit to receive that thank you so i will kind of for a moment when i was seeing that donkey do thing there's also unicorns in here if that means anything to you i'm also seeing torches like olympic torch i think they're olympic torches or they're tiki torches if those symbols mean anything to you but see uh their hand here i want to place them there it's like you are in the hoopy thing and can catch it like you are the hoop You were the, who I don't, I don't know. The hoop? Is it called a hoop? Yeah. Okay. And this is a result, a resulting reality from your honesty and your desires and the strength that have come from that. And it's up to you. It's up to you what, I'm going to say weapon, but it, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a weapon to be used in the way. It's almost like you can take the spear and pick up garbage without having to touch you know, your hands to it and keep your hygiene. You can wear a glove when you're handling somebody else's sword and deciding if it's a good fit for you. If you're shopping, if you're shopping for different items, ingredients. Old souls, I'm going to leave this here. This feels like a really well message. I hope it did inspire, educate, or entertain, or just simply add to your existence experience. And whether it cures or creates uh, curious conversations, I'm so grateful that you are here. All the links are below to help a gal grow. And I don't think there's anything else to say. I'm just so grateful for you. So if you want to check out the next video, I will plop it out here or there. And I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for being here.